Let's play video games! Hello, and welcome back to Hard On Gaming, where the games are hard and so am I. I'm your host, Big Stiffy, and this is World of Goo! Now, this is a pretty old uh, game. It's been around for quite some years, but I figured I'll do a playthrough of it, just because. Uh, I started a playthrough on a previous channel of mine, and I just... I simply never finished, because uh, I had uh, too much stuff going on, and, you know, just couldn't, couldn't do things. So, let's get started. Uh, the Goo-Filled Hills. Now it's a pretty it's a pretty quirky little puzzle game, I think. Uh, dra dragon drop to build the pipe. Okay, so we basically have to build a tower out of these little goo ball dudes and get them up to uh, the very top. We gotta get them to the pipe, and we do get a bonus for. Um, We do get a bonus for actually uh, getting extra, so we don't have to we don't we don't have to rescue all the little goo balls, but you know if, the more the better. All right, so there we go. Plus five extra, fantastic. Alright, next one, Small Divide. Now this does become gradually more difficult because they add uh, different goo balls with uh, different properties. So things don't quite stay the same as you would think. It's basically like a like a bridge builder. There we go. Now that should have collected a lot of them. There we go. Yeah, fantastic. Plus six extra. Fantastic. Oh, he did in pretty good time. 38 seconds? Not bad. Hang low. Does your goo hang low? Does it wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Okay. Alright, so now I gotta get them all the way to the top. Oop. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, everything's coming crashing down. Uh, I think I might have to restart this level. Yeah, let's, let's retry. Alright, so let's actually do that. Weird little noises. Oh dear. 
Hey, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Got a lot of extra ones anyway. The ground shakes. But why? World of Goo Corporation. Now open. What the hell? Now, I'm not sure, but I think this game actually started off as being like a flash game. Um, alright. So, the flying machine. There was actually another game that uh, I played years ago, which I actually quite enjoyed. And it reminded me... Uh, this actually reminds me of that. Um, Alright, so... Oh, we got a sign. Open the gate and fly, monkeys. Fly! But don't forget about me, okay? Sincerely, the sign painter. So he's our friend throughout this this uh, journey. Okay, so we need more balloons. Uh. Almost. Hey, there we go. Uh. I think I just have to attach two balloons to uh, this thing down here. It's a little bit awkward to have to like scroll and everything. So do that one there, and off we go. And I'm sailing away. I guess that's all about all I can sing so I don't get fucking copyright claims. Copyright claims have gotten really stupid lately. I guess they've always really been stupid, but they've gotten uh, the enforcement of copyright claims that has gotten significantly more stupid uh, as of late. Uh, much so in the case of uh, content on YouTube, because you figure when people do parodies, of course, uh, stuff is going to sound very similar because, you know, that's kind of the purpose of parody, is that songs sound similar but have radically different lyrics or are performed uh, differently. A new species of goo ball. I must say, they look quite beautiful. Maybe they have commitment anxiety. I'm not sure. It looks like they can be easily detached from one another. The helpful sign painter. Okay, so with uh, with the other uh, little goo balls, of course, after you build a structure with them, uh, they are pretty much permanently assigned to their fate. They cannot be removed from a structure. These, however, can. They can be removed from the structure you build with them. And uh, basically what we want to try and do is we want to... Uh, we want to make a structure out of them. I'm not too sure how sturdy these little buggers are. I'm assuming they are quite sturdy. Oh, there we go. Now once we build this one up to a certain point, it pretty much won't matter that there is a uh, moving 
platform. Oh, let's try and be a little bit quicker. Oh, oh shit, I think it just folded it in on itself. Ah, oh, come on. You can do it! Oh no! Oh shit, I just broke it. No! Oh, damn. Oh god, and it, and it has folded in on itself. That's not good. Still not enough. Oh god, and the whole thing is collapsing on itself. Gotta try and... It's probably gotta try and be quick. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, god. I have destroyed everything. Alright, let's... Let's just retry. Rather than waste my time trying to fucking... Trying to build it back up. little buggers, aren't they? This actually does create quite an issue. It's when you don't know if you're gonna be tearing them apart or what. start folding in on itself anyway. Uh, I guess that's about all that I can do. And I've rescued 10 of 8. Which I guess I can't do much better than that. Given the, uh, kind of wonky, uh, wonky physics of everything. Alright, so yeah, let's, let's just continue, because that's, that's pretty good, considering all things. Oh, and uh, going back to my uh, previous thought on uh, copyright enforcement, uh, the whole the whole copyright enforcement on uh, YouTube is just totally ridiculous. Because uh, if if the kind of copyright that YouTube enforces uh, were the uh, de facto standard for copyright enforcement. Then you figure Weird Al Yankovic would probably never have made a living on what he does, and of course he does pretty much nothing but parody songs. So you know, with his with his parody songs being uh, moderately similar to other to other content, it makes it kind of ridiculous to think that. Uh, he may have never become popular at all because copyright would have just oh shit would have just uh, made everything impossible for him. Oh yeah, let's see what our uh, friend the helpful pint uh, yeah helpful pint painter the helpful sign painter has said. 
Uh, Fisty swore he would never be like those tadpoles that grew up that grow up and shoot colored gems out of their mouths. But he wondered what it might be like. The sign painter. I don't understand what he's talking about. Uh, pop a time bug to go back in time by one move. A time bug? What the hell is a time bug? What? What is he talking about? A time bug? I don't understand. Oh, that is not good. Oh my god, look at this. The balloons just can't keep up. Oh, oh, oh shit. Alright, let's, uh, let's not do that. Damn. So we got spikes at the top and bottom of everything. Um, if I take one of these little dudes and put him here, is that gonna help? Is that gonna keep everything more stable? Chances are kind of slim. Oh, no! Don't do it! Oh lordy. Oh, oh, and there it goes. Let's uh, undo that. Oh, damn. This is a tricky one. I think this is like mainly just time based. Uh. Oh no! Shit. Oh no, come on. What? What the fuck? What does it say? Oh yeah. I already read that. Uh, shit. Oh no. Oh, there we go. Oh no! You son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, let's... Let's retry. This is a tough one. Because I really do think this is... This is just time-based. Like, you have to beat the clock. And that makes it super fucking difficult. I think I can actually make like crossbars with these guys. Ooh, that was a bit hairy. Actually, I'm starting to wonder if I shouldn't put uh, balloons on the uh, underside. That might be something I have to do. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, don't do that. Oh no, you son of a bitch. Oh, damn. No, don't fucking fall. This is really goddamn harrowing. Oh no! Oh come on, that should not have happened. What the hell was that? Oh shit. Oh and you know what? I actually forgot to start my timer. I haven't I haven't 
time to how long I've been recording for. Shit! Oh, Christ. Christ on a cracker! Make it. Oh. Just. Just made six of six. Alright. Fantastic. Didn't get any extras that time, unfortunately, but Jesus Christ. Well, I think I'll have to pause the video here. Join me next time for some more World of Goo. And until then, take care, Internet. I will see you in space.